Welcome to the mysterious world of The Curse of the Cat People, a 1944 film that weaves a tale of fantasy and curiosity. If you've ever wondered about the many roles in this movie, which one was your favorite? As you dive into the narrative, be prepared for a roller coaster of emotions funny, shocking, and even sad facts await you. So, keep watching. Have you ever reminisced about the first time you watched this classic? The nostalgia of that initial encounter with the curse of the cat people can be quite special. Now, let's fast forward to the present and invite you to share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this cinematic gem. We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Prepare yourself for an intriguing journey as you explore the depths of this film's narrative. What role captured your imagination? What surprises unfolded during your viewing experience? Share your thoughts and experiences with us. Curious to hear your stories? Step into the captivating realm of a 1944 film that left an indelible mark on both its audience and the annals of cinematic history. As we delve into the impact of this masterpiece during its time, it's crucial to note how it resonated with viewers. The reception was not merely as a linear narrative. Instead, it became a tapestry of emotions, weaving together elements of fantasy, curiosity, and nostalgia. Far from a conventional cinematic experience, it sparked a multifaceted reaction among its audience. Viewers were taken on a roller coaster of emotions from moments that elicited laughter to those that left them in awe of the shocking twists. Its ability to evoke various sentiments contributed significantly to its enduring legacy. Beyond the screen, the impact extended into popular culture. The influence was not confined to the realm of cinema, but seeped into everyday conversations and interactions. Characters and scenes became part of a shared cultural landscape, creating a vibrant tapestry that continued to resonate with audiences for years to come. The success also paved the way for adaptations, spin-offs, and merchandise as the characters and stories found new life in various forms. The legacy lives on not only in the memories of those who experienced its magic during its initial release, but also through subsequent generations who discovered its allure through adaptations and related products. In conclusion, this film stands as a testament to the power of storytelling and its ability to leave an enduring mark on popular culture. Its impact, felt during its time and echoing through the years, solidifies its place in the pantheon of cinematic achievements. Let's uncover the masterminds behind the creation of The Curse of the Cat People. The 1944 film boasts a team of skilled individuals who played pivotal roles in bringing this cinematic gem to life. First and foremost, we have the creator's visionary minds who conceptualize the captivating narrative that continues to intrigue audiences to this day. The producers, with their keen understanding of the industry, ensured the project's smooth execution. Their ability to navigate the complexities of filmmaking contributed to the overall success. Behind the lens, directors steered the ship, translating the script into compelling visuals. Their directorial choices, from framing shots to guiding performances, played a crucial role in shaping the film's unique atmosphere. Now, let's shift our focus to the heart of the movie, The Cast. The main actors, with their exceptional talents, brought the characters to life in a way that etched them into the collective memory of viewers. Notably, insert main actor names in their respective roles delivered performances that resonated with audiences. The casting process, though perhaps not as elaborate as contemporary methods, held its own charm. Interesting trivia surrounds the selection of actors. Insert interesting casting trivia here. These anecdotes shed light on the serendipity and intuition that sometimes shaped the composition of a cast, adding an extra layer of fascination to the film's behind-the-scenes narrative. As we unravel the layers of production and cast, it becomes evident that it's more than just a movie. It's a collaborative effort of talented minds and skilled performers. Each element, meticulously crafted, contributed to its lasting impact on audiences across generations. In the Reed's home, a notable painting takes center stage, featuring cats and a child. This artwork holds significance for Irina, identified as her favorite piece of art. The painting itself is the work of Francisco Goya, titled Don Manuel Osorio, creating a subtle connection between the film's narrative and the art within the characters' lives. Alice and Miss Callahan make references to Mummer's plays, old folk performances by traveling groups known as Mummers or Geysers. These plays were a common sight in streets or public houses, offering a glimpse into the cultural backdrop that influences the characters' conversations. Lois Huggins, the caroler with a unique perspective on Christmas traditions, likely hails from a Catholic or Lutheran family. 
The film subtly suggests this through her reluctance to open presents on Christmas Day, hinting at the variation in holiday customs across different families and traditions. These nuanced details contribute layers to the characters and their world, reflecting the filmmaker's attention to cultural elements and personal nuances. The integration of art, folk traditions, and holiday customs adds depth to the curse of the cat people, enriching the viewer's experience with a tapestry of cultural references. The Curse of the Cat People delves into a world where poetry intertwines with the eerie narrative. Miss Callahan, in a subtle yet poignant moment, quotes the unseen playmate by Robert Louis Stevenson from A Child's Garden of Verses. This adds a layer of literary depth, bridging the gap between the fantastical and the poetic. Notably, Gloria Donovan makes her debut in this film, marking the beginning of her cinematic journey. The inclusion of fresh faces adds a dynamic element to the cast, contributing to the film's unique appeal. Behind the scenes, the clash of creative vision emerges as Val Luton initially envisioned the film as Amy and her friend. However, RKO executives, eyeing the success of the prior cat people, insisted on retaining the familiar name. This strategic move aimed to draw in fans of the earlier success, showcasing the intricacies of studio dynamics and audience expectations. As we navigate the narrative, the Reed household reveals a notable painting featuring cats and a child identified as Arena's favorite by Francisco Goya. This artistic connection subtly weaves the characters into a broader cultural context, enriching the film's visual tapestry. References to Mummer's plays and Lois Huggins' unique perspective on Christmas traditions provide glimpses into the characters' cultural backgrounds. These nuanced details showcase the filmmaker's attention to authenticity, adding layers to the characters and their interactions. In Unraveling the Curse of the Cat People, we find a delicate balance between poetic nuances, fresh faces, and the push and pull of creative decisions. The film not only stands as a cinematic experience, but also serves as a testament to the intricate interplay of artistic choices and industry dynamics, shaping its unique identity. In the quiet neighborhood inhabited by Robert and Louis, nods to literary figures emerge, subtly connecting the characters to Robert Louis Stevenson. An homage, perhaps, as Stevenson contributed a poem to the film, adding a literary layer to the narrative. Contrary to claims of detachment from its predecessor, the curse of the cat people unfolds as a continuation. Kent Smith and Jane Randolph reprise their roles as Oliver Reed and Alice Moore, now married with a daughter. Simone Simon, the original Mrs. Reed, plays a pivotal role. Despite these connections, the film strays from the feline curse, presenting a unique storyline untethered to its foreigner. Julia Farron's recital of Washington Irving's The Legend of Sleepy Hollow introduces an intriguing geographic link. Sleepy Hollow, north of Terrytown, aligns with the Reed family's residence, threading an unexpected connection within the narrative. The Reed household, devoid of cat-related enigmas, places emphasis on a noteworthy Francisco Goya painting. Depicting cats and a child, it holds significance for Arena. This artistic touch subtly intertwines the characters with a broader cultural context, enriching the film's visual depth. Miss Callahan's recitation of Robert Louis Stevenson's The Unseen Playmate adds a layer of literary depth, bridging the fantastical with the poetic. Meanwhile, Gloria Donovan's debut injects fresh energy, diversifying the cast and enhancing the film's appeal. Behind the scenes, studio dynamics come into play. Initially envisioned as Amy and her friend, executives retained the familiar name to capitalize on the prior success of Cat People. This strategic decision sheds light on the intricacies of industry dynamics and audience expectations. In Unraveling the Curse of the Cat People, one discovers a delicate balance between poetic nuances, fresh faces, and the push and pull of creative decisions. The film stands not just as a cinematic experience, but as a testament to the intricate interplay of artistic choices and industry dynamics, shaping its unique identity.